Rust developers and welcome to the Rust question and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about Rust, this is your channel. Rust navigation, Rust with drones, Rust for autonomous cars, everything Rust is here. Learn Rust step by step and push your Rust learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto Esquerro and today we are going to learn, we are going to see how to create a Rust program that writes poses into a file. And when I say poses, I mean the, uh, the ROS message pose or, or pose with covariance or pose with covariance stamped, whatever. But basically, it's a program that will write these poses into a file. So at the end, you will have something, let's say, like this. Yeah? So pose 1, pose 2, pose 3, and the poses written here with the position and orientation into a file. So this is what we are going to learn uh, how to do into this video. Okay, but before anything else, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. Okay, now yes, let's start with the video. So, as always, the first thing I'm going to do will be to open RDS. So, I'm going to go to the RDS website and I'm going to create a new project. Let's just create a project right here. Uh, create new project, there we are. And I'm going to call this project, let's say, poses to file, for instance. Then let's create this project and now let's start it. <clears throat> there we are. Now let's wait a few seconds until the whole environment loads. There we are. So, yeah, let's open an ID in order to visualize our files. And let's also open a shell to get started. Great. So for this one, I'm going to create a ROS program. So basically, I'm going to place this program in the Catkin workspace. Yes, because uh, this is anything related to artificial intelligence. It's not a notebook, neither a Jupyter notebook. And I'm not going to work directly with a simulation into a simulation, modifying things of a simulation. So basically, I just want to create ROS programs. And this goes into the Catkin workspace. So I'm going to go to the Catkin workspace, the SRC folder. And I'm going to create a new package, which I'm going to call, let's say, poses to file. Let's put it uh, with the ROS by dependency. There we are. So now here it will appear this poses to file package. There we have it with a source directory. And let's create here a file, which I'm going to call poses to file.py. There we are. Let's see if this has execution permissions. It doesn't, so I'm going to give it execution permissions, poses to file. There we are. Excellent. So, yeah, now I'm going to write here the program. I'm going to copy it and I will explain it. Uh, you will see that it's very, very easy. So, there we are. Okay, I have just copied here my, my Python script. And, yeah. As you can see, this is a, cl a class which I have called save poses. Yes. And inside this class, I have the init function, a callback for a subscriber, and a small function which is called write to file. Yes. So basically, when I create here, as you can see here, I just initiate a node into the main. I just initiate a node and I create. Uh, an object of this class, of the save poses class here. So when I create this uh, object, I will come directly here and basically here what I am doing is I, I am uh, creating, initializing a dictionary, a Python dictionary with uh, three elements, pose one, pose two, and pose three. These elements are poses, as you can see, yes? So I am importing here the geometry message pose and each of these uh, poses, pose one, pose two, and pose three, will be a pose 
object. Yes, then here I have a subscriber to the Odom topic, which is where I am going to take the poses from, from the Odom topic. And yeah, so the Odom topic, and here I am defining the callback for this uh, Odom subscriber, Odom topic subscriber. And in the callback, as you can see, it's very, very simple. The only thing I do is to put the post part of the message into this variable, into the self post. So let me, one second, let me start a simulation so that you can understand this a little bit better. Because maybe some of you get lost here. So, okay, now let's keep it. Let's keep it here. Okay, so yeah, here basically I'm starting a simulation of a Turtle Bot 2. Because I want to show you uh, some things regarding this Odom topic. Okay, so yeah, here we have the simulation. Excellent. So with this simulation, if you do a ROS topic list, you will see that there is a topic which is called Odom. Yes, then this topic, let's have a look at one of the messages. Just a big echo all of minus n1. There we are. It's a huge message, it has many things. It has the header, here it has a pose, covariance, a twist. Okay. Then what I am doing, okay, let me put this here. So as you can see, what we are interested in is basically in the pose, which is this part of the message here. Yes, the position and the orientation of our robot. This is what we are interested in, basically. Because what we want to have, as I've showed at the beginning of the video, we, we want to have a, a file like this one, which says position and orientation. So basically we're interested in this part here, of the message, yes, the position and the orientation. Then, what I am doing here in the sub callback, in the callback of this, in the callback of this Odom subscriber, is to basically take only this part of the message. Because if you come here and have a look at the structure of a of an odometry message. Yes, without all the values, just the structure. Here we have it. As you can see, we have this header part here at the beginning, which is this part here. Yes, this is the header section, let's say. Then we have here the pose with covariance, which basically contains a pose, a normal pose, which is this one here, the position and the orientation, and a covariance. So basically, what we are interested in is only this. This part of the message here. Yes? This geometry message is pose, pose. Okay, we are interested just only in this. So what do I need to do in order to only get this part of the message? I access the wall message first, which is here in the message. Then I access to the pose, which is this first post. And then yet another pose here another level of pose here, which is this one here, yes? So I am doing message, I want to come first of all to the pose, and inside this pose, I want only the pose, not the covariance, yes? Because in this first pose, we have the pose and the covariance, okay? I don't know if maybe I have driven you crazy, Okay, well, probably for someone who doesn't know nothing about ROS, this would be a little bit uh, complicated to understand. But for people who have already worked with other image messages or with ROS messages, this is, uh, this is quite simple. It's, it's just practice, yes? So, yeah, let's come here to the code again. So, basically, as I've said, what I'm doing here is only to get the post part of the odometry message, which is here. And I'm putting it into this self pose, which I have defined here. Yes? So constantly, this self pose variable will be updated with the latest odometry. Yes? 
because each time a new auto message uh, is published, this sub callback will be called. So the message will be always updated. Okay? Then finally, what I do is to call this write to file function, which I am defining here and which is very, very simple. What I am doing basically is to, I'm doing a slip, a slip of five seconds, and then I'm putting the post that I have stored in this self post variable, I'm putting it into the dictionary, into the key post one. Yes? Then I wait five seconds and I put again the new post that I have stored here into the post to key of the dictionary. And again, I wait five seconds, I do a time here sleep, and I store the new post of the dormitory into the post three key of the dictionary. Yes? So basically, I am filling these three uh, poses of my dictionary. Yes? And between them, I am just uh, sleeping five seconds. Yes? So for instance, if I am moving the robot, this will have, uh, we will see that uh, a difference. Yes? So for instance, here I will be at x1, here I would be at position x2, etc. Okay? Then, after this, once I have my dictionary with, with all the poses, I execute this part here of the code, which basically creates this, opens this poses.txt file in order to write it, and then here I iterate through the dictionary, through my dictionary, this poses dict dictionary, yes? I iterate through all the 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 keys, the objects that are into this dictionary, and I write them into the file. Yes, this is basically Python code, doesn't have much to do with ROS, but uh, you can search uh, out there how to write poses into, how to, sorry, how to write a dictionary into a file. Yes, the only special thing here is that I, I have to everything to str. As you can see, I am calling here the str function for the key. The key is this. Uh, so the key is this post 1, post 2, and post 3, and the value is whatever it, it's associated with this key. Yes? So I, I am converting these keys and these values to strs. Because if not, I, I will not be allowed to write write them. Yes, they need to be strings in order to be to write them into a file. Yes, that's why I'm doing this. And this is basically some separator to make it more beautiful, as you can see. Yes, to separate everything a little bit. And yeah, so that's it. It's very 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 simple, as you can see. And now let's test it. Let's see if this works. Okay, so let's uh, test it. Let's go to the... Um, I'm going here in order to save my file here into my package. So now let's, yeah, let's execute our program. So poses to file, Brosman poses to file. Poses to file, there we are. Let's execute it and wait for all the, the slips that we have. So there we are, written post one. Now five seconds. There we have post two. And then after five seconds, we have post three. There we are, post three. And written all poses to poses.txt file. Excellent. And as you can see, here we have now this poses.txt file also here. It has appeared also here in the IDE. So, if you have a, if we have a look at this file, we will see that it has written our poses, post one, post two, and post three, to our uh, to this poses txt file. As you can see, everything is zero, 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 because we haven't been moving the robot. This is also a, a negative exponential, so it's a zero. All of these are zeros. Yes. 
So yeah, everything is to zero basically because we haven't been moving the robot. So the robot has been uh, static all the time. So the poses are the same. But for instance, we could create a program that keeps moving the robot, uh, doing a square or doing a circle. And we, we could uh, execute this program and you would see that the poses are different, vary. Okay, I will leave this up to you because I just wanted to explain how to do this program in order to write the poses to a, to a txt file. And yeah, that was all. In the description of the video, you will find a complete course about... In the description of the video, you will find the link to the Robot Ignite Academy, as I've said before, and I will also link our ROS navigation course, which includes exercise similar to these ones, of managing poses, writing them to files, so I will put all of that in the description. Also, did you like the video? If you did, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. Either, either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. Goodbye.